Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla if you're new here and if you're not new here I'm very sorry I've taken a really long hiatus. Last semester I guess the last six months in general have been really hard for me and so I kind of just needed some time to reset and focus on school and focus on um, pulling myself out of kind of a difficult spot. So I am actually going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about um, my whole life update. So moving back to France, school, and then just coming out of a dark period in general because it's been a really tough last six months, but we're here and everything is okay. I went home in August expecting to be able to get back to France by October once I got my new visa. I actually had a lot of visa problems, so I ended up staying until January, and so I was in the United States for five and a half months. So that was one of the reasons that um, everything was difficult for me. Of course, it was amazing to be back with my family and see them and spend time with them for six months. That really was the highlight of everything, um, but it was just a really tough semester. I was dealing with grief. I just had a lot of personal stuff going on too. I was really stressed with school and of course my visa problems. So for those of you that do not know, I started my master's at a program in Paris last semester. I did my whole semester remote because of the current situation. Um, but I was taking 11 classes for my master's program and it's that's just nothing that you would ever see in an American program. It's just this university I'm in and my program is really intense and I actually am really enjoying it and it's been really rewarding and I ended up doing pretty well last semester but it has been a difficult adjustment. And so I needed to take some time off and kind of just focus on school. So I wanted to talk about how I was managing all of those stressful things and uh, give a life update. You just kind of got the cliff notes version of what's been going on the last six months and why I haven't filmed. But um, ultimately everything is okay because I am now sitting in my apartment in Paris and it is so amazing. I am so happy to be here and I will be filming a apartment tour coming soon. So I can't wait for you all to watch that. I wanted to talk about how I really dealt with going through a lot of difficult changes in a really difficult period of my life. So I'm going to talk about the steps that I did to make sure that I was okay and uh, the steps that I've used to pull myself out of a difficult time as well. Um, so I want to mention, first of all, that the last six months, I definitely have not felt like I've been thriving or living my dream life or anything like that. Um, in some ways I have for sure. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm so grateful for everything that I have. And I always am so grateful. The challenges that I went through really kind of uh, made me take a step back and reevaluate everything. And so while I was not necessarily thriving, I was just doing these things to keep myself afloat and keep myself healthy. And so I want to talk about that. So in order to maintain my health and then begin to rebuild my life again, after I had really been struck down, I really just focused on treating myself with kindness. So I lived each day not really focusing on the future, which is unlike me, uh, but instead I focused each day just focusing on that day. So I think in everybody's life, there's periods of growth and periods of rest. I just really needed to take a period of rest for myself which is totally fine. And I really recommend everyone who needs to do that, do that. I haven't gone through a period um, like this in a few years. Really needed to, um, I guess, just get through each day 
and kind of try to enjoy the little moments instead of focusing on big picture goals because I was so overwhelmed with school and everything else going on in my life that I really just needed to focus on taking care of myself and resting when I wasn't doing school or spending time with my family. And I think that's completely okay. Um, we're so often taught to, you know, strive for the next goal, stay super disciplined and hustle so we can get what we want out of life. And while I do agree with that, there are periods for that growth and hustle, and then there are periods for resting and just doing what you need to take care of yourself. Another thing that I did that ties in with all of this is I took a social media detox, which I really recommend doing if you're really stressed out already and you're wasting time on social media and you're just comparing yourself to everybody else instead of actually like making content or um, focusing on like the positive aspects of social media. If you're just mindlessly scrolling and if it's causing you more stress than it is helping you, I would highly, highly recommend taking a social media detox. Um, for me, I ended up taking an Instagram detox, obviously a YouTube detox for like five months, but an Instagram detox as well for like two and a half, three months. I'm just starting to post again, um, but I would really recommend it. And that kind of segues into the next thing that I want to talk about, which is, uh, and I already touched on this, but when you're going through something difficult, I would recommend, honestly, just accepting that you're in a difficult spot or you need rest rather than trying to fight it. Surrender to what's going on and by doing that you're going to be able to feel your feelings and then be able to pick yourself up when the time has come for you to move on and uh, change. And that's been really hard for me. It's been necessary for me to just surrender to what has been going on. And that doesn't mean necessarily like feeling super bad for myself and being upset every single day, but it just meant that I knew that I needed some time to focus on taking care of myself, spending time with my family instead of growing. And I think that is completely okay. I also spent this time just in a period of reflection. So I was in therapy every single week, I was journaling, I was reassessing what I want out of life and where I'm going. And I think those are all really important things for us to do very often. Personally, I've just been going through a lot of stress and so I've been kind of working towards focusing on what I can control, what I want to bring into my life instead of focusing on all the negative things that have happened this past the past six months and so I've really just been trying to reflect on myself on my future and what I want and kind of readjust and honestly what I want hasn't changed that much but how I go about it will be different and I think it's going to involve a lot more peace and surrender rather than um, pushing myself and being hard on myself because that has been uh, something really difficult that I've kind of had to go through uh, this semester is just I've been so hard on myself and realizing that has allowed me to let that go and work on surrendering that. So another thing that I really had to do to work on uh, rebuilding my life after a difficult period was to let go of perfectionism which is what I was just kind of saying like I have really been hard on myself and in order to let go of being hard on myself I also have had to let go of perfectionism like I can't do a million things in a day and that's okay um I think I kept trying to force myself to start again and have a new beginning and be perfect in different ways, but that comes from a place of self-criticism and not self-love, which leads me to try to want to control my life instead of accepting what's going on and letting go of what's hurting me. Um, it's really, it really focuses on instead how I can control every little detail of my life. And I just don't need to do that. Um, when I love myself, 
I practice self-kindness and self-compassion and I let go so much easier. I let go of perfectionism. I let go of uh, the need for something to be a certain way. And that allows me to just kind of trust myself more, trust that everything is going to be okay. And it also allows me to just flow throughout my day so much easier because I'm focused on what makes me feel good and what makes me happy instead of trying to force myself to do three workouts, five YouTube videos, <laughs> six homework assignments, and uh, eat completely healthy in one day. Like, that's just an example, but I have very high expectations for myself and I always have and I think that's very common especially among young ambitious women um but instead of trying to be perfect focus on being kind to yourself focus on being compassionate to yourself and focus on doing what makes you happy and that allows you to let go of what doesn't let go of the negative self-talk and flow throughout your day I apologize because this video was a little bit all over the place, um, but ultimately I just wanted to give a life update. I'm back in Paris, I'm um, doing my second semester at Sciences Po, and I'm loving it. Uh, first semester was really hard, as I said, the last few months have been really hard, but um, I just kind of explained how I've been rebuilding my life after this dark time. I just wanted to share my story to help motivate you if you're going through a dark time to also know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's okay if you're going through a hard time to accept that you might need a period of rest things will get better and ultimately we just have to be kind to ourselves that's the main message of all of this if you're not going after your goals every single day that's okay there's times for growth there is, and you'll get there soon, I promise. But just for now, if you're going through a dark time, if you're going through a hard period in your life, just know that it is so important to be kind to yourself and offer yourself love. So thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video if anything resonated and be sure to hit the bell so you can get notified when I post new videos and stay tuned for my Parisian apartment tour coming soon. Bye guys.